When you ready? You ready? Hello people, I'm back cooking again. Uh, today I'm going to make uh, not shepherd's pie because we've got too many shepherds in this house. Um, uh, cottage pie. Cottage pie. <laughs> not shepherd's pie. So, there you go. First of all, I'm getting my base of the dish ready. So I'm just going to get a few tomatoes, um, some onions, mushrooms, courgette and uh, garlic's already in there, the aubergine and courgette. Probably and carrots. Probably use that one. Green garlic. So you could use green garlic rather than normal garlic. If anybody's ever seen that, it's just a little bit like more of a spicy flavour. Right, if you come and have a look, get in. We need salt on this. We need pepper as well. <laughs> right, so what we've got here, if you have a look in the pan, please. Grated carrot, aubergine, um, zucchini, um, uh, mushrooms, onions, hong yong, uh, and then garlic. Green garlic! So, you could leave it at that and just have a vegetarian version. Or, you can have meat, that like Right, I'm going to add a little bit of red wine, but I've already had, added some and you missed it. Um, just to deglaze the pan, because the... Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of glaze on the bottom where I'm cooking. I'm going to add the mince now. And watch out for the meat napper. Because that will get in your way. Um, Angus, Aberdeen Angus beef rather than any sort of other beef. I've used lean beef just to make sure it's nice and healthy. So, as mince is nearly cooked, if you can have a look. Just please have a look. Close it. Close it. Right, what I'm going to do now is make me patented purple gravy. So, what you need, what, what you need, come in, you need to look at me, is a beef bullion, either a couple of cubes or one of these jelly ones that uh, that rate annoying bloke on television advertises from No. You want that? You want Anderson's relish? You want to whack a load of that in? Probably about that much. And then red wine. Get a stir, see how thick it's getting. And if it needs any more, rather than adding red wine, add water. So at this point, you can get a wench to help you out peeling the potatoes if you really can't be bothered. That's exactly what I'm doing. Obviously, get someone who doesn't fumble the potatoes and throw them on the floor. Because basically, you'll end up with gritty potatoes. Green garlic. So, after your wench is done, and they're all in the pan, it's normally customary to 
have sexual intercourse to reward it, but because she's done such a bad job, that's not going to be happening. Look, I was purple grey and getting on. As you can see, it's nicely sort of coating the meat. You don't want it so you can't see meat because that's too much grey. Everything's boiling away nicely. Green garlic.
liberally <laughs> distributed around the place, like the cutting board <laughs> and the floor. And then <laughs> one, two, one. Green guy. As you can see, there it is done. Right, we're going to have a go at plating it up. We'll have to dig in. And scoop it out. Oh god, oh, I reckon do this at the same time. Whoa. Some of meat on. <laughs> Get another scoop. This one will be mine because it looks absolutely huge. <gasps> oh, I've lost half of it. Bloody hell. That's always the problem. There you go. And there we have it. We've got cottage pie my way with extra garlic. There's the taste test. You've had some already, what were it like? Mm. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed it.